Hi, I'm Bob. Let's continue to solve the exercises for section 3.4, Constraint Consumer Choice. I used the textbook Microeconomics Theory and Applications with Calculus, the fifth edition, by Professor Jeffrey Palov. Let's do exercise 4.6. Helen views raspberries and blackberries as perfect complements. Initially, she buys five pints of each this month. Suppose that the price of raspberries falls while the price of blackberries rises, such that the bundle of five pints of each lies on her budget line. Does her optimal bundle change? Explain. In the first step, we draw her budget constraints and indifference curves to help solve the problem. Raspberry and blackberry are perfect complements for Helen, so her indifference curves are right angles. She consumes a fixed proportion of the two goods. Suppose her original budget constraint is L1. Her original optimal bundle is E, where the highest indifference curve touches the budget line L1. In the second step, we draw the new budget constraint L2, which is flatter than L1 because the price ratio P1 over P2 becomes smaller. The negative price ratio is the slope of the budget line. Since she can still afford the original bundle, the new budget line goes through the original bundle E. In the third step, we consider Helen's optimal choice. Helen will not substitute between the two goods, so her optimal bundle is unchanged, as shown in the graph. The optimal bundle E is still the point where her highest indifference curve touches the budget constraint. Let's do exercise 4.7. Use indifference curve budget line diagrams to illustrate the results in table 3.2 for each of these utility functions. In the first case of perfect complements, the indifference curves are right angles. The optimal bundle E is on the highest indifference curve that touches the budget line. It is an interior solution. In the second case of a Cobb Douglas utility function, the indifference curves are convex to the origin. The optimal bundle E is the point where the indifference curve is tangent to the budget line. The Cobb Douglas indifference curve will not hit the two axes. The optimal bundle is an interior solution. The third case of the constant elasticity of substitution utility function also gives an interior solution of the optimal bundle. It is on the indifference curve that is tangent to the budget line. The fourth case is the perfect substitutes. The indifference curves are straight lines. The slope of the indifference curves is minus i over j. The slope of the budget line is minus P1 over P2. We compare the slopes of the indifference curve and the slope of the budget constraint to find the optimal consumption bundle. If the indifference curves are steeper than the budget line, then the optimal bundle E is at the corner of the budget line that hits the Q1 
axis by the highest indifference curve rule the optimal bundle is on the highest indifference curve that touches the budget constraint the consumer spends her entire income on q1 by contrast if the indifference curves are flatter than the budget line the optimal bundle e is at the corner of the budget line that hits the q2 axis the consumer spends all her income on q2 if the slope of the indifference curves are happen to be equal to the slope of the budget line then the consumer is willing to buy any bundle on the budget line in the interior or at either corner next let's consider the quasi linear utility function the optimal bundle is either an interior solution or a corner solution it depends on the income if income is high enough the indifference curve is tangent to the budget line and the consumer purchases positive quantities of both goods if income is low the consumer has a corner solution where she spends her entire income on q1 let's solve exercise 4.8 for the following utility function solve for the optimal q1 and q2 as functions of the prices p1 and p2 and income y we use what is called a shortcut approach in the textbook to solve the problem this method combines the tangency condition and the budget constraint to find the optimal interior bundle of goods that maximizes the consumer's well-being the tangency condition as the marginal rate of substitution equals the marginal rate of transformation the marginal rate of substitution equals the marginal utility ratio and the marginal rate of transformation equals the price ratio combining this tangency condition with the budget constraint we can solve for the optimal bundle for the two goods Let's find answers to exercise 4.9. The application in difference curves between food and clothing postulates that minimum levels of food and clothing are necessary to support life. Suppose that the amount of food one has is F. The minimum level to sustain life is F underscore. The amount of clothing one has is C. and the minimum necessary is c underscore we can then modify the cop doctor's utility function to reflect these minimum levels using the approach similar to that in soft problem 3.6 derive the optimal amount of food and clothing as a function of prices and a person's income to do so introduce the idea of actual income y star which is the income remaining after paying for the minimum levels of food and clothing so the optimal quantity of clothing and the optimal quantity of food derive formulas for the share of the income devoted to each good in the soft problem 3.6 We use the Lagrangian method to find the optimal values of Q1 and Q2 in terms of income and prices. We can apply this method to this exercise. In the first step, we write down the Lagrangian function and the first order conditions.
In the second step, we solve these three first-order equations for C and F. The first two conditions give equation 4. Then we rewrite the budget constraint equation 3 with y star and get equation 5. Combining equation 4 and 5 gives the optimal bundle of closing and foot. In the third step, we calculate the income share of each good. We can also use the shortcut approach to find the interior solution in this exercise. Let's solve exercise 4.10. A function f x y is homogeneous of degree g if, when we multiply each argument by a constant a, it equals a to the power g times f x y. Thus, if a function is homogeneous of degree 0, the following equation holds. Show that the optimality conditions for the cop douglas utility function in solved problem 3.6 are homogeneous of degree 0. Explain why that result is consistent with the intuition that if we double all prices and income, the optimal bundle does not change. The optimal bundle for the cop douglas utility function is as follows. The solution is a function of income and price. For a positive constant t, the following equation holds. So g equals 0. It is homogeneous of degree 0. The result is consistent with the intuition that if we double all prices and income, the budget constraint is unchanged and the optimal bundle is also unchanged. Thank you for solving the exercises with me today. See you tomorrow for the next part of Chapter 3. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.